A, a former foe flying the flag of Na'Vi coming in from the north. Yeah, Anto was a long time ago, but that's where FaZe made their fortune. 16,000 people in the arena tonight. So let me hear you! We are blessed with some of Counter-Strike's brightest minds in the server tonight for this best of three grand final. Carrigan v Alexi, FaZe v Na'Vi. And Ancient is where this begins. Dare I say, Inferno's where it ends. We have a beautiful map pool for this series. Yeah, we really do. And I mean, you're going to be treated to two of the best tactical masterminds going head to head. This is exactly what we wanted out of a grand final, the first grand final in Counter-Strike 2. To think the phase came straight through with the Ancient pick, Na'Vi, they showed us grit on this map last night. Now FaZe have to face it head on. Bit up in A main looking for the first engagement. In the right place with the dual Berettas is Bit. Nearly caught getting out of there and Na'Vi unperturbed. They're gonna bring a second player over. Easy does it from FaZe Clan in the pistol. Nothing crazy and explosive out of them just yet. But they are slowly but surely taking this main space away. And that's when Bit decides to get involved. It's Carrigan. Fan favorite, dead first. Yeah, but it does allow a player to slip into Donut. FaZe have real estate in this round, and Na'Vi haven't full rotated off that B site just yet. They don't know. They can't be certain. Alexi probes middle, desperate for information. It steps right in here, and he attacks. Look at this gap. He's found the golden window right now, man. No one to keep an eye on this. He is kind of having to turn around and check for it, but that leads to him getting and so FaZe Clan are looking for the recovery. They go a man down to open up this pistol. But they find their gaps, they find their timings. And now V just have to sit back in this 2v4. They've got to come to terms with it. It might have started strong, but it's FaZe Clan picking up the pistol. Slow and steady does win the race for Rain, And what a double entry for him, getting behind enemy lines. The MVP of Antwerp, FaZe's major trophy. And all while he was in fear of being cut from this very roster. Rain walks so FaZe can run, and Na'Vi just try and save their guns. Very well recovered, very well recovered. And I mean, if that's a sign of things to come out of Rain, you're excited of just how far this can go for FaZe. A big game player, all that experience. Reign in this roster since its inception. The architect, he's built it from the ground up. And a gut punch for Ema. Back to back grand finals for this guy. No one expected that. Not with the form he came through into this Na'Vi team. But yesterday against G2, he performed when it mattered most. And we're going to keep our eyes on him today as well in this final and see if he can bring that near MVP level performance he showed us in Paris. We know it's there, he's just got to dig deep. FaZe just trying to keep this clean. Mac 10s and methodical into the cave. I can't be having stacked so many bodies over towards that other side of the map. I mean. FaZe have got them right where they want them in this round. There's not much to get excited about here for Na'Vi. FaZe, this is very measured. Yeah. Their hearts are racing as much as everyone else, Harry. I mean, you know, they've seen what Na'Vi can do on these pistols. They've seen what JL can bring to the table there. The fear of the force is always a factor, but they've heard a USP towards this B-bomb site, so FaZe shouldn't be too concerned. Sooner the better before these rotates come in. And Carrigan at the helm. Just going to brute force his way into the empty site. They don't know it yet, but they've already stuck the landing on this conversion. So that plant comes in right now. There is one man in the site with them in the form of Alexi, and he isn't being accounted for, but surely he can't make this weird. One kill off of the USP. Is there anything else? from Alexi B in this round. They go and boxed in. If, if Na'Vi can play this late enough, they can force FaZe to die with a bomb. We know how, uh, how large that radius is on this site, on this map. 
And so Na'Vi go into the final few seconds to keep FaZe on their toes. Brokey loses his face. This one's getting expensive. There's that JL Deagle and Ema moving in alongside him. Frozen is trapped right now. Frozen might need a helping hand. And so this round, it's not a win for Na'Vi, but it's damn close. A Pyrrhic victory for FaZe as they lose nearly everyone in that anti-eco round. A round that was supposed to be crisp and clean ends up being anything but. Yeah, Alexi keeps his troops tight, and that was a lot of rifles for FaZe, so it's not going to be too good of a feeling after that. Na'Vi have them ripe for a reset, right to break their money in round number three. The buy comes through. Na'Vi's aggressive B-ramp moves are something FaZe need to keep an eye on on the CT side. As Adesh said, plenty of data, recent data. Plays that can't be changed since that semi-final. FaZe want to set the pace, though, into the A site. All right, it's been pretty slow and measured up until now, but FaZe trying to deal an early knockout blow here, running straight through main. Na'Vi have got the rotates. They're bringing everyone over, but will that be enough to stop the pace out of FaZe? Carrigan dead first. Ema, I'm wonderful, put on a show. JL on that rotate in, and Rops is cut down. Na'Vi around those guns come out and immediately phase feel the full burn of Navi a confident call to arms for Navi you see those instant smokes you don't know whether to doubt them or not is that a commitment off the execute do we really want to drag every single player over it's the mind games that we'll be keeping our eyes on in this matchup between these two in-game leaders but Alexi calls right and Navi have just enough inside of the site now it's phase's chance to dance with pistols Oh. oh, Frozen, not afraid of the big stage as it turns out, that's nearly the double. But he gets out with the first and that is what really matters to FaZe right now in this low buy round. They open up on the Tech 9 once again, Karen, Carrigan battered out of it. Complaints to the manager on that one, Alexi with the backstab. And a 3v3 now. Silence a crossover towards this A site. Alexi still pressuring through middle. This is a dangerous reset. They could lose the bomb on this mid fight right now. Alexi has no idea, but the Deagle is coming through. Brokey lines oh, up, no. but he can't connect the shot. He can reset. The help comes through. Frozen saves the day, and he might go for a little bit more. JL Whoa. with a tap down mid, and suddenly FaZe are favorites no more. Only Rob's left up in this one. But we've seen many a clutch out of this guy, some on this very map at this very major. This reset is beautiful, there's no way you're ready for it. He forgot the ball. JL's got it in the bag! And so JL showing up in full force. Beautiful what? taps down through middle. What a shot. Where did this guy come from? We saw him in the playoffs of a major. We saw him with Apex making a bit of a run, falling to the champs. But he was not putting up rounds nor matches like he has been here in the Na'Vi jersey, playing up to the level, playing up to the stakes and the pressure. His rating exceeding that of ever before. No time like the present for JL to step up. And if you remember in that G2 game, it propelled Na'Vi forward on a seven round streak. That one ace he found so early on the CT side. Can that explosive beginning for the Lithuanian, do the same here. It certainly has to the money. FaZe have nothing to show for it. A very well recovered round, considering how it starts as well with Frozen getting the ball rolling out through mid. Those are very hard rounds to put away versus FaZe Clan. But with the just, uh, just Glocks here on the FaZe side of things, you're not too worried. Wonderful is posted. Right place for this AWP. This is kind of a nice call for FaZe because it, it feels like a bomb plant is guaranteed. Unless Wonderful risks it all and re-swings with a USP, which he has been known to do, uh, FaZe should be able to get a bomb plant here, certainly. And that's uh, overall a win in this round. The info spotted on mid. Now Wonderful knows what's up, but can he put a stop to it? Awkward miss. That's going to let the Glocks in. Ema will take up position in its CT. On start. Right now, that bomb is trapped out behind the box. It moves through with Ema backing him up, and so it's well contained. Plant denied. The one thing FaZe wanted to get out of this round will elude them. Bit of an error for Brokey to cross all the way behind Big. If he took the close routing, he could have got back to the site. And with Carrigan and Dona, that's a perfect round to make yourself some money. Money he would love for that AWP. 
If you want to talk Brokey, he has been an absolute monster in this major. Highest rated player for FaZe, slipping under the radar. So many players, so many question marks on the MVP of this tournament. And not just the winner of this final match, but who's he going to be? No op for now. Brokey has to sit on the sidelines. Frozen's going to try to stake his claim to mid again. He's able to do it with the Tech Nine, so he's working that early. Wonderful here with the AWP, and he's got support as well. In the meantime, look at this from Carrigan creeping oh. through at the top of the B ramp. Nico couldn't do that yesterday. Somehow Carrigan can. And he's even got the read here. Pushing up through the short smoke. Oh, oh my. my god, Carrigan is making a play. Ema's got no idea. The captain carries the torch, and the rest of FaZe Clan follow him. This B site is now so tantalizing. They've spotted that AWP over in Donut. The one man they don't know about yet is Alexi. Oh, they know. They've yeah. got a feeling in their bones. He's in a cage. If they don't clear this, he can make a slippery play, but FaZe seem more than aware of this possibility. The one part of the map they haven't cleared, and Alexi Ooh. doesn't bite, he doesn't budge. They wanted him to shoot off the flashbang. Brokey oh. will clear it, and well checked there. Alexi now knowing about. And so getting out is not a certainty for Alexi B. He is pinned in, boxed in, frozen. Should have this one dead to rights, because Alexi eventually has to make a move. He's the one under the pressure to try and save this M4. He's dead. Oh! oh. Three! <laughs> Alexi finds a way. The slippery fin saves his AK, but FaZe saved the day, and it's all for the man on your screens. Amazing double entry, pushing through two smokes in that round, and catching Na'Vi by surprise. Good return to form from Carrigan as well. He's had a bit of a rough start to this game, hasn't he? Always been that first man to fall for FaZe. But he makes his play in that round there. And it brings them right back into the fold. The pressure now on Na'Vi's shoulders. Frozen once more trying to dance with these two players in middle. And he finds a good timing here. Slipping across right as bit as up and moved away. Rain, I mean, this is, this is basically his position. One of the most formidable cave players you've got. The caveman of FaZe Clan. Oh, and there's an opener. Will get swiftly traded and dealt with by Bit, but that's pressure over here towards B. And Alexi can still hear these footsteps right beside him. He knows they're coming his way. He knows they're looking for him. Rain makes it across. Do they want to challenge here onto Alexi? Bit seems to think so. He's there to back up his captain. And between the two of them, they will hold back FaZe Clan over at Cave. Frozen's gonna throw his hat into the ring. Frozen arrives. Oh, what crazy way to do it! But he can't find the second man. And that leaves it all on Rops. Smart player, listening for the info, listening for the footsteps. He goes hunting for Ema back in the spawn. That's the first on his way to the clutch. A lot more to do for Robson, not a lot of time to get it done in 20 seconds. He might need both kills here. Smoke in his way, but he plays through oh. it, and that's when Wonderful stops Robson in his tracks. Fantastic double cave setup there. We're already seeing a lot of fights going on in this side of the map, and Alexi plays it to perfection with Bit, trading off of him. You could feel Robs cooking, but a smoke down at 30 seconds, too tall a task. And right now, trading rounds are these two teams swapping punches and go, both coming out bloody and bruised. It's FaZe with an early timeout. Legendary players and coaches on both sides chipping in. Hey, even a former in-game leader for FaZe at one point, Brief, was Neo, but now back behind the boys.
Right now we're seeing Carrigan just completely counter JL. He's killed him at least twice on this B site entry. Did not think he would be JL's kryptonite, but someone has to. Yeah, I mean, really, there's been two standout players throughout this, and that's wonderful in JL. Ema has had a recovery since he's gotten onto these playoff stages. Right now, the most interesting one of me is Bit leading the way at eight and three. Yeah. The last man standing of that old NRV squad. <laughs> they saw FaZe in a final. And he's got something to prove today. Alexi is fearless on this cave side. We often see players go through this smoke with a bit of mid pressure. But FaZe stoic indeed, holding back behind the doors. Rain setting up rocks for an entry now. Alexi's oh. gonna get out of there, and at just the right time as well. Couldn't have been better. Alexi still floating around, wants to try and end this over in cave. Rain goes first, rocks the trade. Rocks, can he do it? He can't, can't measure up to Alexi. And so that AK is lost, and with it the round, it all comes crumbling around FaZe Clan as Na'Vi go flawlessly into the lead here. This is such a confident game from Na'Vi right now, despite the things that FaZe have thrown at them, right? That instant A rush in the first gun round, Carrigan just going through smokes on entries and boxing Alexi in. Na'Vi looks so unperturbed by the rounds they've lost and just keeps stacking them up. Flawless. That's gonna go a long way on the CT economy. FaZe may have bitten off more than they can chew with this cheeky map pick. Remains to be seen, a rebuy now. Gotta bring your best move for the table. That's a nice grenade. Ema gets bruised early, solo mid, supporting Util from Bit, who will go back to reinforce. But right now, this B site's needed little assistance. Alexi's lights out. Phase one middle, and with that, they've got to respect these smokes. Ema might find himself in the firing line here. Drops in that second smoke in mid. Eventually, FaZe are going to look to come through this. So how long does Ema hang around for? They're looking to come through right now. So Ema oh. just going to spray and pray. One kill from the man. Brokey caught in the crossfire. Carrigan closing in, but won't get past the double donut setup. Hats off to Bit as he recovers this round. And FaZe Clan, it grinds to a really awkward halt here. All the spots perfect, Rob's baited the other way. And this is a done deal, surely. Na'Vi absolutely rolling over FaZe with another clean round on the bye. Can you imagine what this Na'Vi team would look like if all of these players played at their peaks? It feels like we might get that today. Bits hitting some fantastic headshots. JL has done the same, and Alexi, an in-game leader who has been known to hold his own individually. And it's safe to say that's the case here, right up top of the board alongside Bit. We've not even seen Wonderful's Orb matter yet. So there's still so much more to come for Na'Vi. And a worrying start for FaZe. Just forcing a B execute here, they've got so little to play with, just Tech Nines running through smokes, nothing to lose, everything to gain. JL inside of the site. Alexi wins his fight over at the cave, but it's bit run down first. JL and Ema trying to contain this. His phase move in. They've oh, seen no. a lot of names. Oh, no. to get out of control. Alexi wrestling with the AK. Support from Wonderful. Alexi can't deal with the last man. Oh. Wonderful misses the backstab. Brokey's now got time. Brokey's now got a chance. A long way to go for the bomb plant. But don't underestimate Brokey in these clutches. He's so decisive. He's going to go straight for it, fearless, knowing he's got that great timing and that Wonderful is a long way away. The question is, where does he go in the post part? Brokey clearing out positions and putting it together. Piecing this flank from Wonderful. There's only one place he can be, says Brokey. No health advantage, but the info, the position, the risky post part, does it pay off? He's desperately need this round. This is their best chance yet. And Brokey playing with his food and with the backstab. And that's what Brokey's all about. 
That's the phase we were here for. That's a phase you paid to see the clutch factor, the X factor, the star power. Brokey saves it. That was Tech Nines on a B rush. Navi melted them. But a clutch comes through and phase are back to their winning ways. Okay, more decisive B control now. Rain wants to tackle with this cave. Comes at a cost. That cost is health, but he gains control in exchange. Brokey's delivered them the lifeline, but now FaZe have got to capitalize on it. It can't just be the one and done. This is their chance to break through and tie up the half right here, right now. Carrigan waits. Here it is. Took him a little while to get find his footing here and get on the board for Carrigan. Oh. That kill tees up FaZe nicely. An early 5v4, JL Corp pushing. So now Na'Vi scramble for answers. They scramble to try and make sense of this. There's that wonderful AW. Oh! oh. Wonderful! No! Third shot misses. Brokey gets revenge, claws his way back into the round. FaZe are so good at resetting in these moments. They won't give you any more. They won't chase for another kill. They will go cold. They will go quiet. The seed of doubt in Na'Vi. Can they find anything? Oh, Carrigan does it again. Every time FaZe have needed these little advantages squeaked out, Finn's been good for it. So now FaZe set their sights on the A play bit. We'll move in and deal with the captain of FaZe. Even oh, odds no. right now, oh, they're not yeah. ready for Ema. They're not ready for this. And so Brokey clutching the last. He's got to do it again. This time, one step further. One step too far. As Na'Vi collect themselves. They dust off from that rough start they're gifted there. And they deny FaZe that even scoreline on the half. Yeah, despite those explosive entries as well, Carrigan still continuing to ruin JL's day, but it doesn't matter. He's got his team to rely on. Bit active mid-round, and Ema does not look scared on this stage. He's here to rewrite his story today. A start with an asterisk on him. And finally, in the final round of this T-side, Brokey funded for an orb. It's been a long time coming. How's it look now that Brokey gets his weapon of choice down the lane? Over towards Long, he's got this line, looking for that first incision. Oh. Brokey nails it. Tech Nines run down JL. And a quick dig from Rops, the pistols, backbone of that AWP. Oh. Looking to make amends here. Ema burning alive, and it's just wonderful. Left against it all. Fades the smoke open, but that shot sails past and phase with one AWP and a collection of pistols. They've left an impression here. Trading blow for blow down the stretch at the end of this half. Wonderful is just praying that anything connects, that he can get something to give him an edge. Brokey wants Brokey. the knife. Brokey's getting ballsy. Wonderful flashed, and as he moves up, if he pulls this knife, Brokey will fall, but frozen trades and phase pull up with just that AWP and the pistols. And they get something to latch onto heading into this second half. Just enough. Five rounds. You're not celebrating if your phase, but you're well and truly in the game. Some clutch rounds coming through, but Na'Vi playing to another level right now, a level we've never seen out of this team. A crew put together off of the performance of Paris, and you were ready to write them off, but they are in the major final. Yeah, it would have been so easy to think that those were, you know, one hit wonder performances, the highest heights that a lot of these individuals had ever reached was there on the stages of Paris. And they look to prove the world wrong here and now. Na'Vi, a confident display to open up in that first half. And to think it's Alexi leading as well with the kills. 13 and 6 on the finish captain. Certainly not cold here. This job's going to get a little bit harder leading this T side now against a very mobile, very active phase, making a gamble in this pistol. They roll wrong. Rain with the Dolberettas. It's all him. Na'Vi what move on in, they flood over the site. Carrigan will get here in time, but he's one man against the world right now. And run down. Locked off from spawn. Who from FaZe is gonna make the first move here? It might have to be Rain. They reroute through middle. Ema offers something up. Ema offers up that 4v4 into the retake, and now they rejoin FaZe. They rejoin Rain over in cave. 
Great control. He's been spotted, dinked by the Glock. Two in from ramp. Phaser slowly but surely moving in, but not for long as Na'Vi swiftly deal with this retake before it even begins. Denied at the door. No ID, no entry. And Na'Vi shut Phase out of that B-bomb site. The gamble goes wrong, and this round gets worse. What are we witnessing? This is getting real stressful for FaZe. This is getting real stressful for Carrigan. They played blinders throughout the playoff stage so far. But he still is yet to lift a trophy here in the Royal Arena. It's his third final. His third final in this very building. His fourth time on the stage. And still not enough. Will that be the question for Carrigan on home soil? Emo wants to make it so easy entries into the middle. And this force by from FaZe dissipating in front of our eyes. They will have to dig deeper than ever before. This should be a 10-5 lead for Na'Vi when all is said and done. And once again, the Finnish tactician moves his pieces to the right place. Ema is very wounded, very hurt, and so that kill is given over for free. Oh, hang on a second. Carrigan might be onto something here. He's just caught with whiff of Alexi going into the cave, but he can't best him in the head-to-head. -head. So that flank from the captain is nullified. That flank from the captain is knocked out of the round. Na'Vi with a bomb plant. And everything to play for here. FaZe can't justify going for this. And so Brokey and Rain have got to save, and look at what they're saving. Nova, MP9 as they concede a ninth round to Na'Vi. This is going to leave them with very little room down the stretch. It's got to start so strong for FaZe when those rifles come out. Or else it might never get going here on Ancient. They still have another round to catch their breath for Na'Vi to get more ferocious, more rapid. And one step closer to closing FaZe's map pick in this series. For crying out loud, Na'Vi, it's Mirage next. They've beaten this very team with Blade playing on that map. Na'Vi must be feeling unstoppable right now. And once again, the question is posed to phase. Had a little chat with Carrigan about what Neo brings to the table. He likes to call into these low-buy rounds. He likes to help with the CT sides. He is that kind of analytical coach. Hands-on, tries to get involved. And so, desperate times calling for desperate measures. He's going to try and do that now. And see what Neo and Carrigan have cooked up between them in a round that phase of absolutely no business winning. They come into this with a shotgun and an MP9, a handful of nades. So the FaZe Clan artillery is certainly getting ready, but will Na'Vi fall for the trap? Looking like an instant dump. Na'Vi do not take their spawns, nor their opportunity lightly. They go for a full A exec. It is empty with FaZe starting middle. They know they have the space. They hear those nades, and Na'Vi with a red carpet rolled out, look to lock in 10 rounds. There's nothing that FaZe can do or say about this. They're smoked off at every choke point. The only angle open is here through Temple, and even that's being held. There's no way Brokey can save the day with a Nova. And so FaZe have a very tricky task rolled out ahead of them. The moment these rifles come out in the next round, they've got to find success and then keep finding it. And that's been the struggle for FaZe, chaining together anything more than just these one and done rounds. They've got to embark on a streak here because Na'Vi have pulled up in title winning form. Alexi leads the way in and out of the server. And there is, is not a weak piece in sight right now for Na'Vi. You were at least ready to write off players like Ima, but he has only gotten better stage by stage, game by game in the major.
Bits having his best performance yet right now, it feels. And Wonderful has not even been required, but he was the reason that G2 had problems yesterday, that they couldn't close that semi-final. He's the reason they're here. How deep does this pool run for Na'Vi? Will face drown in it. Ricky had to wait till the end of that first half to oh, bring out the open. Oh, what a crazy opener on a frozen. It takes rain with a wide swing. And Brokey Zorp getting involved to pull this back the other way. Rain waits with bated breath, fearing a reaction through the cave to try and catch him after that peek through middle. Goes through the motions, falls back into the site to go and help his captain. Ooh, yeah. Molly forces him forward, but Rain is very much in the sight nice. now, getting involved. Him and Carrigan in tandem, send Na'Vi packing, and now it's just Alexi. Top in the chart, sure, but a 1v4. Would have never seen the day. Missed shot from Brokey to open, but there's so many players here ready to react, ready to punish, ready to trade. Alexi can't take this any further, surely one more kill, but there's Rops, end of the line, is found on that B site. Ema might have opened, but the victory is short-lived. What a great play for Rain as well, right? We talk about how powerful he is in the cave. He plays behind the molly, not fearing Alexi's move. He plays ahead of the molly, and he still lets Carrigan get that first contact that sets him up perfectly to refrag. Even if Carrigan dies on that, that just shows how selfless he is on a leader. He's happy to set up his stars, set up his players. Keen to go in first T side and divvy up that entry roll and keen to take the first contact on B as well. Faze have to propel themselves. They have to springboard off of that gun round. And with the way that Na'Vi are playing, it's not going to come easy. Ima running through a mid smoke with no support. That just speaks to how Na'Vi are feeling right now in this grand final. There is something to be said, especially after you know a pretty dismal look in the elimination stage out of Ima. There, that confidence that he finds in himself on stage is that of. A far more experienced player, been in this position once before, but you didn't imagine he would be the, the only man to be a repeat major grand finalist. Back Ooh. to back, frozen okay. up and over, but sandwiched down here in middle. Rain tries to respond. Oh, no! Oh, Rain will respond! Alexi thought he had him right where he wanted him. Wonderful with the turnaround. So this one's not done yet. This one is far from over. That kill should have been Carrigan's all day long. But Wonderful has found a way. They know he's low. They're going to punish him. This round lives and dies on the play made by Rain, but he's hit the gap. They're walking through. They have no idea. Rain waits. Baited breath. Wonderful. About to fall. And that's the bomb in tow. Rain won't turn around. They're out in sight. He's got to be aware of this. Rain waiting. Flash coming over, but Rain is ahead of it. Oh, I can't respond. Bit. Now has that bomb back under control. Rops, will he get there in time? He's low on health. But all this distraction down towards ramp has at least got this orb set up in the right place at the right time. Will they go hunting for Rops? Will they go looking for the man in middle? Do they grab this bomb and move into B? Flashes over into the B site. Rops is about to confirm that the path right. forward is through mid. Dropping down. Rops gets out with the first. It's just Ema now. And in comes that AWP. Beautifully done from FaZe. They're able to withstand these blows from Na'Vi. And they are pulling themselves slowly but surely back into this game. It doesn't matter how many times you knock down FaZe. They still find a way to get back up after. Never out cold. Always good for a comeback. And I hope they give us that today. At least make this game competitive. Starting to get loud now. And starting to get easier. Phase have broken that brittle economy of Na'Vi. Phase are able to win these rounds on their T side, but Na'Vi, that's not going to do them any Ooh. favors. A missed Molotov for that B site. A smoke in the face. Na'Vi go through. Straight through. Straight into Carrigan. 
straight in to phase his mastermind, who's now going to make a stand all alone. He loses his Ooh, teammate. Oh, wow. Cave and Carrigan keeps on giving. Plant found. Now V, they can at least get this bomb planted, but can they do anything more? Frozen doesn't seem to think so. They had no chance when this one began. And hell is frozen over now. Puts them in boxes. How has Carrigan been some of the most impactful fragger in this server, in this series? Both the captains have such an important double denial. You can tell me it's just pistols, but if they break through for free there, that's Na'Vi poised, armed, and in a post plant. Carrigan never lets it get to that. Phase find a way. Two rounds, the difference now. Alexi's got to dig deeper, get that shovel out, but the ground might have frozen over. Oh. This time FaZe are trying to fight for middle, and Na'Vi are willing to meet them there. Two players out on an island here in mid, it's Frozen and Rops making this play through the front. Rain even in cave, ready to support, and over at ramp, Carrigan waiting with a smoke pole, ready to block and deny that presence up towards B, but Alexi, oh, hello, sneaks on through the cave smoke, bypasses the two players in there. These wall banks can be wicked, though. He positions as safe as he physically can in this very dangerous position. And while Na'Vi take mid and blind phase while doing so. Brokey's passive enough that he doesn't seem to care. Double cave ramps open. We leave Carrigan to hold the window. With no kill offered up, Na'Vi must walk into the jaws of phase. Crossfire set up. Alexi hasn't cleared deep enough. Alexi didn't clear it. And so Frozen gets out Scott free. Can he fight? Oh! oh! Frozen is awake now! Quick double kill, but he's still got more to do. His job not done yet in this round. JL cancelled this Frozen finds him, and now it's just bit to go into the moors of this B-site to concede this lead that Na'Vi once boasted, and Bit's going to walk out with his tail between his legs. It's a one-round game. Na'Vi cannot get ahead of themselves here. FaZe have been in these positions before and they are making the absolute most of it. Frozen looks so good in that phase jersey. Look at this re you know, reuniting core, that old mouse squad. Carrigan moved to greener pastures. He pulled Rops up and Frozen waited. Frozen waited two years in mouse to get his chance and he is not gonna waste that opportunity. Back to back, back breakers from Frozen. And Na'Vi needs something right here, right now, something to celebrate. They need a hero. We mentioned how this performance from Bit has been uncharacteristic. Well, he's the one with the AK. He's the one with the big gun here. The guy who would have to kickstart it all again yeah. for Na'Vi, and that's what he does. First kill found out of Bit's AK. Looking a little better now, and Na'Vi, as they rush up through the cave, Carrigan and Frozen will try and contain this. Frozen, they smoke him off. They're putting a lot of pressure on Carrigan's shoulders, and that way it might be too much to bear. Carrigan goes searching oh. forward, but overran, overwhelmed. b sight getting dicey, frozen with the reply. Surely no more, surely not another round, and JL will draw him to a close. Can they cool off? Can they reset right now? They have time, and the question is, does Rops' brain read this? Does he go one step ahead, one step too far, perhaps? He makes that rotation. A guessing game right now, but Na'Vi... Well, they must be fearful the Rops lurks in the darkness. They go right back into the battleground. Ema attempting to find that player, but soon the plant presents itself. And Rops is a long way away. He's got to give this a go. Might have dodged that first contact. You can dodge Rops, but can you dodge death, Na'Vi? Over at long, Rops is opened, and now it's one man left to beat JL. Oh, so oh. Play it with confidence! Jay Lionheart, in the face of adversity, he takes it on head on, and that's what brings Na'Vi back into the game. 
Yeah, the face of this team, the courage that JL brings. And he shows that in the clutch, just going for a straight up swing against one of the world's best mechanical aimers. Rops has been silenced. And to be fair, this is Rops's lowest rated major in that phase jersey. Those are the rounds you need him to win. And without it, Na'Vi now sit on the precipice, two rounds away. A break in the action for the black and yellow. Throughout this whole thing, you've seen FaZe Clan getting tested, slowly warming up in this second half. But this, this is the toughest moment yet. This one decides whether or not there is still hope for FaZe on Ancient. They're all in. Live or die by the AWP. Broke he mollied out. He has to concede. He has to give the site over. Na'Vi is slowly pulling that bomb around. Rops down in middle, needs this kill, and he will get it. Meanwhile, Rain found pushing the extremities over at B, but the bomb's already out through main. Ooh. Jail's just a red herring. FaZe take the bait. Still fishing for that kill. They can't close it. Carrigan's here putting up resistance in the site, but that molly might force his decision. He has to smoke it. Brokey misses his shot. That was a chance. They're slipping by now. Wonderful closing in for the kill. And Carrigan gives him a wiggle, gives him a jiggle, gives him maybe yet another round. Can Brokey save the day? This is it. Live or die by the AWP. And Brokey is cut down. Na'Vi, soldier on. They didn't let that streak, that hot streak around that Phaser on shape them. And with Bit and JL breaking them through, the rest of the team now stand tall. And there is nothing left for FaZe. Maybe the end of Ancient here in front of our very eyes. $2,000 a player. They went all in. And now they may be out. About time, we waited for Wonderful. He shows up in the most important round of this map so far. The turning point. And now it's the home stretch for Na'Vi. Cruise control on. These have got next to nothing. So much is waited on this first fight, and even mid has been his territory. Oh. <laughs> but this time the nades will get the better of him. It's a huge upgrade. They need that gun more than ever. That's how FaZe have been looking to counter Ema's plays out through mid all game long. And yeah. so finally they get that reward. They go a man up on the back of the util down in middle. Very risky play to make. Is that the olive branch? Is that the lifeline for FaZe Clan that they so desperately needed? Can they convert? A low econ round, but a man up. The mid retake is nice because FaZe shouldn't have double or triple players here, but it does mean the rifle is in position to win the round for FaZe in the middle if Na'Vi go for it. JL's got a lot on his plate. A one-two punch ready to swing. Carrigan again taking that contact, but it's all frozen. It's all that sold AK. And in this moment, all alone in middle, the round is on frozen shoulders. They creep out. It is David v. Goliath, and he is removed. Bit deals with him. Na'Vi can feel this. They want this. Just a pistol of Brokey. And it stands the test of time. JL, can he save the day? Can he cook something up here? 1v2. Not a lot of time to do it, FaZe know that. That bomb is right there for the taking. Can he get it and get out? 20 seconds for JL to make his decision, to make his move. But Brokey again, a step ahead. He doubts it. JL's got an open runway. Oh my God, calling off that rotate. That might cost FaZe everything. JL's going to get in here. He's, He's going to have to plant for free. Now FaZe are left. Brokey! Low on both players. This fight on a silver platter. And that move. That could be the move that cost FaZe $500,000. Just JL left in this one. And it's Rain. Over eight years on this roster. This is the time to deliver. But the lion heart, the mad lion of JL, lies in wait. And he is not giving them anything. All the pressure is on Rain's shoulders. No kit means it's he done. needs the kill. And JL has arrived! 
Alexi B usurps the king on Ancient. A risky map to rumble in the jungle, and Carrigan may pay that price. Na'Vi.